Hey guys, Eli with Beyond the Lawn here, and I wanted to help you guys with how to plow a lot. I have a lot here that has a couple different scenarios that hopefully will help you guys help uh, answer some questions. This is all how we would do it. Um, so at any time, hit that thumbs up button. If you dislike it, hit it twice. All right, so hit that subscribe button too. Uh, we're gonna be posting a lot of videos this upcoming winter and just daily vlogs, stuff like that. So uh, if you guys find this helpful at all, leave a comment, I'll jump in there and talk with you guys. So here we go. All right, so you see the street behind me? That is where we're coming in. That's the only access to this property. So I would pick a left or a right on how to start. I'll tell you my preference. Um, I'm gonna start on my left, all right? So here we go. So we're gonna start here on our left. Uh, that's how I would, just because this has parking spots on my left. Um, so you saw that we'd be coming in on the street. So I would be coming over here trying to uh, angle my, I have a straight blade. Uh, I really need to get V blades, but I have a straight blade. So here we go. I would be pushing this snow this way. Um, and down. Um, down there we have a wood line and uh, basically free storage. So I'd be pushing all my snow down there, getting it off of this curb. When I come in here and plow, um, after I bring all my snow over here because I just keep going and going and just keep taking it down, I'm also going to angle my blade and I'm gonna be pushing it away from the curb because I just don't want that stuff to pile up. I mean, we're getting ready to get into winter and it's just going to get piled up and um, eventually you know last case scenario i'll push them up there but this is why i won't right here is a very interesting um this is something that is very interesting intersection here we got we got one entrance and then that lot only has one exit right there and it comes in at the bottom of that right by that white barn okay i'm about to cover that area here in a minute but what i wanted to cover over here is all right so i just so i so we just came down here we cleaned all of this and pushed all the snow that way so what i would do here that's a grass area it's kind of hard for you guys to see but i would push all the snow straight all the way down there don't worry about it get this pad clean then in the middle of here this is how i would do it um you can see that there's a identical island right over here over here i would come in and i would put um i'd put a about all of this snow I'd put it over here into these uh, two little islands here um, as long as you can push up you might you know you can do your best you might come into this uh, parking spot you know maybe a, a little smart car could park in there or whatnot but anyways that's how I would clear this and then I would come in here clear that little bit and do the and rinse and repeat here okay so come in and how I would tackle this, come in, swoop, and put uh, your uh, put your snow here. You know, not, not a whole lot, but I would put the majority of it there in that wood line. All right, so this is the lat, this is the, uh, this is the other exit. Very small. So that guy is going to be your main exit. So that is what we're gonna be working out of. All right, so that's like one, one pass, maybe a second one just to clean it up. So this is where we have to put all the snow from up there all the way down. Can't really put it a whole lot here. Uh, there's like a foot ledge here. That's like a five foot um, little, little patch of grass. All right, so if you guys have a lot like this where there's only one entrance, well, I mean, that's an exit, but no one uses that. All right, so how we would, we would get all of this clean, get all that clean, come in here, come over here to up to the sidewalk. So this is literally how I would drive. I would come in here and with my blade angled this way, getting it um, away from the sidewalk here, I would literally leave this until the very last. And if, as long as you cut very close, just push all this stuff over here into that little five foot little block of uh, grass there. But anyways, 
what I would do is come in here with the with my uh, straight blade angled this way and push all this down now here's another scenario that we have going on here but this is another obstacle that we have going on here is we have a sidewalk that goes all the way down all the way down um, to the very end of the property there so we would come in swoop in forget about that for right now that's whenever you're touching up and uh, you're almost done so come in here swoop in uh, push all your snow this way now what I what I like to call a, a clean pad I would, I would create a pad an area that you have already cleaned that your truck can back up on um, yeah there's our uh, MT85 just got done doing a, a job there um, wanted to wanted to show you guys how we would do uh, this property this is one of our properties and hopefully this guy this is helpful for you guys so I want to push all this snow this way so I would clear so I would come in Rinse and repeat, I'd back up and I'd plow and just keep pushing the snow, keep pushing the snow, keep pushing the snow all the way over here till I'm about a truck and a half. Then I would back up and I would just push it all that way, all that way. Now, what we have going on over here is we have a, so that playground, so there's a sidewalk that goes all the way over here. So we can't push this way. We literally have to take all this snow and curve it, curve it, curve it, curve it, until we create a pad. Don't worry about these little nooks right now. We'll get to those whenever we're at the end. But take this, um, take all this snow, and as you're coming from over here, just curve, 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 until you have your little pad that you can back up, and then you can cut this, and then you come in here, um, you come in here whenever you're all done you got all this cleared off you come in here and just push that come in here push that onto that little island come over on this way push it and put it on that little island right there um, obviously stay away from the uh, light poles I would I would much rather get out of the truck and shovel a little bit that I got on the uh, sidewalk than put anything um, towards a uh, light pole those things are expensive whenever you knock them down I wouldn't actually know but I've been around when someone did it and they said it wasn't fun all right that is what I have for you guys hopefully this was helpful um, if you guys have any questions leave a comment down below I'll jump in and hopefully I can answer them or the community can also help answer them um, that is uh, that's all I got for you today um, you know, do you guys want to see how we would do a uh, shopping center? We have a couple shopping centers. We uh, we have a couple stores. We have a couple restaurants. What would you guys like me to describe? I th I I picked this lot because I felt like it had a couple obstacles that maybe uh, some of you guys are like, man, am I just doing this right? So hopefully that will help you guys. Um, super happy to uh, to give you this information. Uh, something that I did not have access to. I always kind of had to be like, hey, well, how would you do this? Asking my buddies and whatnot. So hopefully this helps. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe. Thanks guys.